today i am going to discuss about the gout drugs so before discussing the gout drug what is a gout so gout is a basically the monoarthritis that is occurred due to the increased uric acid crystals in the joints so so gout drugs can be classified into the two types one type of drug that used in the acute attack of the gout and second type that used in the chronic gout condition. So the chronic uh, drugs are further divided into the three subtypes. Xanthine oxidase inhibitors, which are further divided into the two types, purine-based xanthine oxidase inhibitors, and non-purine-based xanthine oxidase inhibitors. So this is more selective because it only inhibit xanthine oxidase and this is less selective. So, these are the uricocerics agents that leads increase excretion of uric acid. So the third one is a colecithin. Colecithin basically inhibit microtubule polymerization, which lead to decrease chemotaxis and degranulation of neutrophil and other phagocytes. So, this is the simple classification of the gout drugs and now we're dealing, uh, now I'm going to discuss about the drugs that are used in the acute attacks. One is NSAIDs, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs and second class is a glucocorticoid. So, so let's discuss about the mechanism of the action of these drugs. So this is basically the simple metabolism of the purine bases. So purine is metabolized into the hypoxanthine, then into xanthine, and then ultimately into the uric acid. So the main enzyme is the xanthine oxidase, which convert the hypoxanthine into xanthine and this xanthine is converted finally to the uric acid. So this uric acid is less water soluble and these two are the more water soluble. So this purine xanthine oxidase inhibitor is the allopurinol. So it also inhibit the synthesis of the purine. It also inhibit the synthesis of the purine so that's why it used in allopurinol are used in lymphomas and leukemias. So, but this Fibexo state is non-purine. This Fibexo state is non-purine base xanthine oxidase inhibitor and it is more selective and it lead to the more decrease in the uric acid level because it is more selective. It only inhibit uh, this pathway, not the purine synthesis. So these are the two drugs, allopurinol, which is a purine-based xanthine oxidase inhibitor, and fibexostase, which is non-purine-based xanthine oxidase inhibitor. So next is the uricocerics drugs. So uricocerics drugs are basically this probensid. So what they do, they do the proximal, they inhibit the reabsorption or reabsorption of the uric acid on the proximal tubules. They work on proximal tubule of the nephron. When they decrease the reabsorption of the uric acid, it will lead to the decreased concentration of the serum uric acid. So same effect of the high dose salicylates like aspirin. They also inhibit the tubular reabsorption of the uric acid 
at proximal tubule. So the diuretics and salicylates, diuretic and salicylate inhibit, diuretics and salicylate inhibit the tubular secretion, inhibit the tubular secretion of the uric acid and then lead to the increase uric acid level in the serum. Another drug is a peglotikase. So what the peglotikase do? So peglotikase basically is a drug that that convert this uric acid into the allantoin, basically this allantoin. So this allantoin is more water soluble and it is excreted easily. So this peglotic is another drug that is used in the chronic condition of the gout. So this peglotic is basically the uricase enzyme. So uricase enzyme convert this uric acid into the allantoin, which is more water soluble and easily excreted. Now I'm going to discuss, discuss about the side effect of the drugs that are used in the chronic condition of the gout. So first is a purine based xanthine oxidase inhibitor. The side effects are the GI upset and the rash and the rare side effects are the peripheral neuritis and vasculitis and the non-purine B xanthine oxidase inhibitor side effects are the liver function abnormalities headache and GI upsets and it is non-purine xanthine oxidase inhibitor is more effective as compared to the purine xanthine oxidase inhibitors. So the uricoceric agents like probensids increase the penicillin and methotrexate concentration in a serum because they compete with the reabsorption. They compete the same sites as the proximal tubule. So the colichicin is the only drug that can be used in acute attack as well as in chronic condition. So the side effect of the colchicin is GI upsets, nephrotoxic, myelosuppression, and neuromyopathics. These are the side effects of the anti-gout drugs.